Hey guys, it's Mike here from Grow365 on YouTube. Just on a quick update on what I have going on right here in my grow tent. Uh, basically, just wanted to show off a couple plants, some of the new seedlings that I got going on. As you guys can see, a lot of it's been cleaned out. Um, so recently, I actually tried uh, to grow this chard. It's a uh, it's interesting. Um, I don't know how they grow it really, really big in the supermarkets. I don't know what they're pumping into it, but this is all I could actually get. I mean, the stems are really nice and healthy. Let's take a look right there. Hopefully there's enough light. But it's, it, it's beautiful. I actually haven't tried it yet. I'm letting it grow just a little more uh, for me to try it. I'm wondering if the leaves will get a little bigger. But overall, it's it looks beautiful and highly nutritious these beautiful like pink stems and uh, the leaves just look great just look at that uh, I also recently tried something called pirate lettuce so this is like a butter lettuce and it has this beautiful purple in it let me give you a close-up so check that out it's actually really tasty um, this is probably about 25 days in and it's actually really delicious. Let's take a look at the root system. Check out that that pinkish purple root from the chard. I love that. I love seeing a really quality uh, grow root. As you can see, all the roots are nice and healthy, nice and white. Got a lot of aeration pumping into them, which is fantastic. Um, this reservoir is basically done. We had a lot of regular lettuce in there. It was this type of lettuce right there that I have on this side. This look look how huge that is and look how awesome it looks I mean look how big this head of lettuce is can you guys this is one this is one piece right there this entire reservoir was filled with lettuce just like that actually just <laughs> I needed room for an additional small um, pirate lettuce right here it didn't really do anything didn't really survive basically was just seeing what will happen to it uh, and also in this reservoir I have a ton of basil I literally have so much basil usually that ever so often probably about at least once a week before if I go away for the weekend or if, if I'm not going to be able to attend to this grow tent uh, once a day just to look at what's going on in here because there are lights and you know you want to just make sure that nothing's touching the lights uh, so I actually have to trim the top so I literally have to just rip off the heads of the basil because they they grow so rapidly that it's really hard to keep up with it and it's almost impossible I mean look at this it's it's a forest of basil and back there I have two heads one head is not actually doing so well probably because it didn't get the best of light um, or the best um, aeration to it but that head of lettuce there definitely did great um, let's look at down here so I got some cool stuff happening down here this is actually broccoli um, I decided to try broccoli it actually took a couple more days longer to germinate than I actually expected a lot of these other things like the, the lettuces these are regular lettuce this is uh, these are three different types of lettuce this is that same uh, pirate lettuce, whatever they want to call it. If, let me just see if I could. As you can see there, there's specks of that purple that um, that you saw up above. This is the regular lettuce, and this is another lettuce. And uh, going back to the broccoli, I'm really excited for this. I want to see how it looks. It's a little bit leggy, but overall, it will expand, and um, we'll see what we get. But these are definitely ready to go into the reservoir, as you can see. There's its uh, initial root system right there. You know, these are all doing pretty good. This is probably a weekend. We got double rooting there. So these are definitely ready to go in. Let's take a closer look. These look great. And I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, maybe a continuation. I'll show you guys what these look like in the next two weeks. Uh, right here, these are brand new to the tent. This is uh, parsley. So when I initially started germinating this parsley, it took way longer than expected. I actually had to research the parsley. Wow, the, uh, the lights just went off on us as they are on a timer. 
but let me just keep talking about that parsley. It took approximately a week and a half to germinate that parsley. And um, as of right now, everything germinated pretty well and uh, it seems like it's working out, but we'll have to revisit it. It seems like it's much slower of a, uh, a grow system. But overall, just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, overview of what's going on in the tent. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys are growing and uh, eating well.